Hi, I'm Phil Batterson, physiologist for VO2 Master. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to sync your VO2 Master analyzer with your Garmin device. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to need to do in order to sync our VO2 Master analyzer with our Garmin device is head over to the Garmin Connect IQ app on your smartphone. And then in the bottom of the app, you're going to click search. Then you're going to come up to the top and click search all. And you are going to search for VO2 Master. And if your device is compatible with the VO2 Master Analyzer data field, the VO2 Master Analyzer data field will pop up. So you will click that, and then you will click Install and Allow. It'll take a little bit of time to install the VO2 Master Analyzer data field, but once it is installed, you will get a confirmation, and you can click Got It. And now, and now you can head over to your Garmin device, and you can set up your VO2 Master Analyzer data field on your Garmin device for the activity that you're going to be doing. Right now on your Garmin device, you're going to navigate to the activity that you want to do. I'm going to navigate to my biking activity. And then I am going to navigate to the bike settings and I'm going to add a data screen. I'm gonna add custom data and it's just going to be a one field layout. And I'm going to select connect IQ fields. And then I will select the view to master data field. And then it'll give me an option to where I want to place it, I'm going to place it in the very top. And now what will happen is if the view to master is not connected, it'll say NC or not connected. And then once we get our view to master all set up, turned on, calibrated, all that stuff, you will see a dash dash when the VO2 master is actually connected. But before we actually connect it to our Garmin device, let's go ahead and set up our VO2 master. The next thing we need to do is we need to set up our VO2 master analyzer the same way we would set it up for any sort of testing that we would be doing. So let's take the VO2 master out of the bag. place the bag to the side. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our AAA battery. We're going to insert it into the battery bay of the VO2 Master Analyzer. Then we are going to place our battery bay cover on top of that. The next thing we need to do is we need to grab a new filter disc, place it into the VO2 Master, and then we need to choose our user piece. So if you already know the user piece of the individual who's going to be using the VO2 master, then just select that one. And just as a reminder, the large user piece, the one with the L in the middle right here, is typically used for larger individuals or individuals who are more well-trained. The medium user piece that has the M in the middle right here is used for smaller individuals or individuals who are a little less trained. For the purposes of this test, we are going to use a, the large user piece. So we are going to just hand screw that into place until the outflow window is facing the bottom of the VO2 master analyzer. Now what we can do is we can get our zero calibration started. So we are going to press and hold the power button. The light will turn on, we will place it down, and then we will wait until the blue light turns cyan. There we go. So the zero calibration is now complete. So now the next thing we need to do is we need to select the correct mass size for the individual who is being tested for the day. If the individual has been previously tested, use the same mask that they would during their uh, previous testing. If not, you can use the Hans Rudolph mask sizing gauge and just walk through the steps to determine the size of the face mask that is being used for the individual that's being tested. If you only have one face mask size, it's typically a small. That generally works for most people. We are going to use a small for the purposes of this testing. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to go to the VO2 Master Manager app to do all of the VO2 Master calibrations before we're then going to be ready to sync our VO2 Master Analyzer with our Garmin device. All right, so now we need to head over to our VO2 Master Manager app. And what we need to do is we need to go to the Devices tab in the bottom right corner. We need to connect our VO2 Master to our smartphone or tablet. So now what we need to do is we need to go over to the Record tab, and we need to edit 
the user piece and the mask size for our VO2 master analyzer. So the user piece that we're going to be using today is the large user piece, and the mask size we are going to be using is a small. So once you have selected both of those, you can click done. And now we have to do both the flow and the oxygen calibration. So we need to click more info, and then we need to go down to settings. And the first thing we need to do is a manual flow calibration. So you're gonna click calibrate now, you're gonna, gonna click yes, and then you're going to go through the process of doing the flow calibration for your VO2 master analyzer. For syncing your VO2 master analyzer with your Garmin device, you're going to want to do the three liter calibration because this is exercising. So you need to calibrate to the three liters. You will click start, you will complete your flow calibration as outlined in previous videos. Then you set up your VO2 master analyzer with the silicone adapter piece or your mask. Then you attach it to the adapter piece on your flexible plastic tubing, and then you complete the flow calibration for your VO2 master. Make sure that you're using the three liter setting because we are going to be using this for exercise. When you are done with your flow calibration, you will click next and you will be brought back to the setting screen. Now we will do the O2 calibration by clicking calibrate now next to manual O2 calibration. We will click yes, and then we will pump our syringe until we get full calibration. Once that is done, we will click next again, and then we will click OK. And now our VO2 master analyzer is ready to be connected to our Garmin device. In order to do that, we need to make sure that our VO2 master analyzer is not connected to our smartphone or tablet any longer. So we need to go over to the devices tab of our VO2 master manager app, and we need to click the toggle switch so that our VO2 master is no longer connected. Once this is done, we can now connect our VO2 master analyzer to our Garmin device. All right, now that our VO2 master analyzer is all calibrated and ready to go, we are now ready to connect it to our Garmin device. So what we need to do is we need to go back to the activity that we set up our VO2 master data field on. So I will go back to biking. And now, because we have disconnected our VO2 master analyzer from our VO2 master manager, we have two dashed bars next to our VO2 master analyzer. This means that it is now ready to collect data. So now what we need to do is we need to connect our VO2 master analyzer to our Hans Rudolph face mask. And then we need to place our locking nut on the inside of the mask in order to hold it in place. Do an eighth of a turn to lock it into place. And then we can use our Hans Rudolph headgear to secure the VO2 master analyzer in place on our face or our client's face. And once they start to actually breathe through the VO2 master analyzer, what you will see is VO2 master data starting to be recorded and displayed once you actually click start on your Garmin device. So it'll look something like this. So you'll have your individual exercise with the mask on. You will record their VO2 master data. They'll get recorded to the fit file within the Garmin device. And then once you are done, you can stop your activity. And now you have VO2 master data on your Garmin activity. You can save it, put this over to the side. And then when you are done with that exercise, you will break down the device, take off the locking mechanism pop the mask off for cleaning. And once you completely exit out of that activity, 
you need to go back to your VO2 Master Manager app and you can reconnect your VO2 Master if you want to use it now on your VO2 Master Manager app. But it should be noted that once you are done with the activity on your Garmin device and fully exited out of it, the VO2 Master will be no longer connected to your Garmin device. So you should be able to reconnect it to your VO2 Master Manager app when you are ready to do more testing with the app. There you have it. That was a tutorial on how to sync your VO2 Master Analyzer with your Garmin device. If you have any questions or want further detail, please see your Getting Started Guide in your VO2 Master Analyzer Kit or your VO2 Master Manual that can be found at vo2master.com or reach out to us at support at vo2master.com. Thanks.